going on my friends, my new friends? Welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Jared. Today, we are gonna be at Salt Lake Comic Con interviewing and playing Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 with the one and only voice of Vegeta, Chris Sebeck. Say nasty words on your channel. Are you um, child safe? Do you like either way? Does your nephew, does your five-year-old nephew want to sit and listen to you? Right no. Now? I don't have a five-year-old nephew yet. Who are your, uh, who pays attention to you? Are these stupid people? No. I like stupid people. They're not stupid. That guy just passed me. That guy was stupid. I'm joking. He's not I'm kidding. Oh, you're really easy. You're sensitive. Smash with me. That's Smash with me. Click that right. one. Wow, that's you. That's me. You have a very sexy character. Thank you. <laughs> and your character's name is Smash. Smash. So does your uh, character ever go Super Smash? Yes. Yeah. She does. Yeah. She even goes yeah. Super Saiyan 3 Smash. I've only watched cuts of this game. I haven't had a chance to play it. Partially because I'm waiting for the yeah. Switch version to come out. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I That's think the only console I really get to play on uninterrupted, otherwise my kids just want to play. It's the only, I'm only allowed to be selfish on that console. The Switch right, actually so looks really awesome. Do it, do it. And you need to get some, you need to earn some clothes for this game. Do you want me to or, oh, go that way? To the, <laughs> to the left? Where That's are we to? The PvP lobby. Oh, sweet. You up for a match? Sure, yeah, I, I'll PvP with you. Do oh, I get to be smashed? Turn, turn around, turn around. Smashed? That one? Like a circle, and then X, and then go to local battle. Done. Oh, yeah. Okay, so am I playing as you, and you're playing as someone else? I guess you're playing you as me. Do you want to switch? Huh? Do you want okay. To smash on this other character. You could, Real that's hard. true. You could. This would be perfect. Do you want to play my custom character? Nope, I want to play a different character. Okay. So, do I get to play? Oh. Alright, so I'll pick Smash, and then... Good choice. Click the... that button. And then click New User. And then go down to Play as Guest, and then don't sign in. Do not sign in. Not signing in. In the process of not signing in. <laughs> All right. So you played this game before? I have. Yes. How many times? Um, I have over 150 videos on my channel. Okay. So you have a head start on me. So I do. Yeah. Give me like two weeks, real quick, to learn this game, and I'll get back to you. Okay. <laughs> yeah. We, we finished working on this game, and uh, literally had no. I've had no time to kind of, I've had no time to play this game because we've been working on additional content for this game every time since it's come out. Oh wow, you've unlocked everything. I have all uh, the characters and the variations. Let's see, who's <laughs> my, Just for this. Is my favorite here. I even have Goku Black and uh, Zamasu. Oh, I'm sure Sean would be really happy for you to play Goku Black. <laughs> Let's do Rosé. Let's see what this Rosé sounds like in game. Okay. <laughs> Actually, I want to go back. You want to go back? I want to go back. I want to pick a different guy. I just wanted to hear his intro line. Just click the go. options button. All right, so now let's, let's do, um, let us do... I'm actually going to play Zamasu. You are? Yeah. Okay. Merged and Lasu too. Have you figured out who Zamasu is yet? Yes, you I have. have. A good idea. Okay, good. It's not officially announced yet, but I'm really excited that uh, <laughs> this actor is working with us. Oh. All right, this should be pretty easy. Do you know who the actor is? I know who voices Goku Black. Oh yeah, but you don't know who voices Zamasu, do you? No, I do not. Alright, I'm just gonna run. You're just gonna run? Yeah, I'm just gonna run. I'm just gonna float around. <laughs> Alright, I feel like this is, we're off to a really good start now. I'm chasing you, man. Okay, I'm done. Oh, shoot. Sorry. <laughs> Can right. you catch me? No, I probably can't. God, it's been so long since I've played this game. When was the last time you played it? Uh, when it was in development. I was playing a very early version of it. And I played a version of... 
Oh wow, you're kicking my butt, dude. <laughs> All right. Bam. Oh, what'd you do, man? That was unkind. Square triangle repeatedly. Oh man, blast me with those supers. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Ouch, that was, that was painful. <laughs> Sorry. So what kind uh, of custom voice did you choose? Um, so she talks like this! Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. that's that's how my character talks. <laughs> if I heard her talk, I could probably tell you what voice it is. It's a custom voice, but yeah, it, yeah. in a sense, it kind of sounds like... Chi-Chi, but not so much. All right. It's kind of adjusted. I really hope... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Press a uh, circle. I really hope that in Xenoverse 3, which is kind of rumored at this moment, right, right. they have more character customizations and more voices. That would be really awesome. I would love to hear that, too. Dude, you're not going to let me win, are you? Do you want to win? Yeah, always do. Okay. But I always want to earn it. You want to earn but, it. But I mean, I'm not going to be able to compete with someone who's had like 100 hours with practice on this, at least. Oh! 100 hours for the video. Have you ever, uh, not to promote someone else's uh, uh, channel or experience or anything like that, have you ever heard of something called DBZ League? DBZ League? Not quite, no. They're, it's these guys who, uh, they take a version of they take a version of like a like a mod, like a PC modded upres version of Budokai Tenkaichi three or whatever it is. The one that had a billion characters. Oh wow, you blocked that. Yeah, of course I did. Where can I play it, or where can I go uh, to it at? Well, what they do is they have these tournament structures where you, you get to spec out your characters, right? Yeah. And um, you get to spec out your characters. And... Oh no! <laughs> what? <laughs> See, if you let me win. If you let me win. <laughs> I was about to go crazy on you. Right yeah, well, there. it's too late. Damn. It's too late. But yeah, these guys, they get together in the game. They spec up their characters based on, like, whatever traits you have within the game. Right. And then they have a computer play a tournament. So they oh, just wow. put the characters together and then they have an announcer. And it's really fun to watch. Uh, like, like it's, it's really fun. They have all themed teams, like, just the Gohan. So they'll have, like, just tall guys or they'll just have all ladies. And the, the trick is, like, you can put Goten and Trunks on your team. And they suck individually, but if the computer decides to use them, you have right. much better characters. So oh wow! It's a it's a fun thing to watch. That is actually really awesome. So let's uh let's talk for a little bit. This okay. It's gonna be too distracting. <laughs> I never get a chance to play games that often, so uh ask me uh ask me things before I have to talk to other people. What would you do, um, Vegeta, if Beerus tried to steal Bulma from you? Well, we've already seen uh, what would happen if Beerus even laid a single finger on Bulma. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he would... He <laughs> My would, uh, Bulma! Yeah, he would chew up and, and like, he would literally cut off all of Beerus's limbs and just uh, eat out of the wounds. Like, it, it would just, it'd be a very disgusting scene like, if he ever laid a finger on, on Bulma in any sort of way. But I don't know. He might be taking some stress off his back. Or maybe he's he just go hang out with Yamcha afterwards. That sounds pretty, pretty intense. Yeah. <laughs> I would love to see that, but it's Actually, probably... Actually, I'm more scared to find out what would happen if Beerus ever discovers, like, if Beerus' secret about destroying planet Vegeta ever becomes known to Oh, Vegeta, yeah. That'll even be scarier. If that ever comes to happen in Dragon Ball Super, I would really like look forward oh, to that I'd moment to, see, to that. see just the twist of Vegeta and Beerus's relationship just kind of start to crumble. Yeah, perhaps because I think I still believe that Beerus that Vegeta is going to be a destroyer. That's my thought. Is that he'll be eventually like, recruited to be a destroyer? Maybe he will surpass Beerus. I, I'm hoping he will. Actually, they haven't even fought. He likes fought. to surpass people, so they haven't even fought. That's true. That's true. Vegeta and Goku, they just spar against Whis. 
Yeah, and Whis is pretty powerful, but he's obviously more powerful than Beerus too, so that's good. That's what's said. Do you feel like you can identify with Vegeta at all, and if so, in what way? Uh, I can't relate to him in too many ways, other than that I'm very, uh, you know, I'm very loyal to my friends and things like that. Um, well, actually, he's not even that loyal to his friends. He destroyed his best buddy, Nappa, uh, because he wasn't strong enough. Uh, I like his relationship that he has with his son now. I like his becoming more of a family man in Trunks, because that reminds me a little bit more of myself. Uh, but really, I think I can relate more to Piccolo and Vegeta. Piccolo is just pretty relaxed. He likes to hang out in an iceberg, chill out for a while, and he's a pretty good babysitter. Okay. that's Yeah, Piccolo is a great, great babysitter. <laughs> he's become one, that's for sure. I, I really hope to see a lot of him more in Dragon Ball Super. Like, so far from what I've seen, he's actually, like, become a really sophisticated, fierce fighter. Totally. And I wonder how he's going to, like, further himself from that. You know, like, who knows? Do you think Cap uh, Piccolo is, like, capable of any kind of, like, transformation besides going, like, Super Namekian into no a giant no. form? Like, I, I really don't know. He's been, like, mostly ignored for a long time. But so is Gohan. It seems like he, in the series, is starting to kind of develop some power again. So we'll see. This question comes from my friend Desile over on Twitter. Oh, that jerk? <laughs> he wants to know, would you mind having a stream like Super Saiyan 3 Goku? Um, no. No, I don't want that. You don't want that? I'm just kidding. I, I, <laughs> I'd consider it. Actually, I want to do, I want to eventually stream, and I've been trying to convince Sean Schimmel to stream for the longest time, because he actually would be really funny to listen to online. He is ridiculous. He is basically a 10-year-old who plays video games, so I think, he would, I think people would like listening to him. What has been your most memorable moment since you started voicing Vegeta? Uh, this today. This today? This it. Somebody setting up a game system at the table where I'm playing. <laughs> no, uh, see, memorable, most memorable moments for Vegeta were um, his sacrifice against Majin Buu uh, was like one of the most epic moments. The first time he ever became a Super Saiyan when he kind of charged in against Android 19. Here, the green, um, and then, of course, I loved I loved his scene, even though he got totally robbed in the movie. I loved his scene when he was facing off against Frieza in Resurrection M. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was an he, epic moment. That was an epic moment, and then Goku just comes in out of nowhere, and he's like, Frieza! And yeah. then he just, like, blasts him away after the planet is destroyed, True. and True. time is reversed thanks to Whis. Like, that, that was just such an epic moment. He didn't even, like, expect that to right. happen, just to Goku... Goku to just appear and interrupt his fight, his revenge against Frieza, and then <laughs> they're just the conflict between the two of them afterwards. It's pretty epic, man. He's like, why did you do that? <laughs> I wanted him to do another temporal do-over just so that he could win that fight. He deserved to. Man, it was nice talking with you today, bro. Absolutely, man. Thanks, Real this is pleasure. crazy. Don't Thank electrocute you. yourself taking this thing apart. Christopher Sabat, everybody. Thank you guys so much for taking the time today to watch the video. I greatly appreciate it. Please keep doing like full every single day. Live positive. Enjoy life. I will see unsubscribe. you guys. Unsubscribe. Wait, is that what you say? Uh, subscribe. Unsubscribe. Don't watch it. Don't ever share this. Wait, is that what you say? Is that what the kids are saying these days? Well, people have been unsubbing, resubbing. Yeah. That pretty much happens. Yeah, unsubscribe. Like don't share. Don't watch this. Wait. Watch this. Okay. <laughs> Thank you guys and peace.